Hello everyone, Ken the Bearded Accountant here, and today I'm going to review three cents from, let me see if I can get this up there for you, uh, the Beard Shack. And I'm going to get right into that right after this quick introduction. Okay, I'm back. Thank you for hanging through that introduction. And before I get, get sorry about my voice, still a little weak. Before I get into the actual review of the oils, I want to mention something that may seem minor, but which really impressed me. And that has to do with the packaging. Now, if you really look at that close, that cap is larger and sturdier than, than most droppers you see. It just really feels solid and sturdy. And... Another thing that really impressed me is these droppers. Let me empty it out. I'm going to go in. These droppers all, I'm shaky, uh, all fill right up to the top on all three bottles. So it, it just seemed to me, I got the impression that they intentionally sought after the highest quality dropper that they could possibly find. And I thought it was worth mentioning. Now, first, let's get into price. The price of a one ounce bottle of oil is fifteen dollars even, and their three ounce butters are twenty. Or, I'm sorry, eighteen dollars. Okay, now for ingredients. As far as the ingredients, I've actually got two different blends here. Uh, their old blend that included grapeseed, and their new blend that includes hemp seed. So I'm going to try and put these both up on the screen on either side. And uh, for the old blend. It's sunflower, grapeseed, apricot, avocado, meadow foam, rosehip, castor. Now, what they did is replace the grapeseed and apricot with hemp and rice bran. Uh, additionally, they moved castor up in the order in front of the meadow foam seed and rosehip. And hopefully, I put these both up here so you could see them. Now, there's these were sent out to me by Kevin from the Beard Shack. Like I said, two are their old grapeseed apricot blend, and one is their new hemp rice bran blend. And I really wanted to talk about, even though it's not available anymore, just how much I loved the grapeseed blend. Uh, let me get into VFS. Viscosity, feeling beard, and styling. I'm going to start out with their original blend with grapeseed and apricot instead of hemp and rice bran. This is a straight-up medium, medium oil. The feel and beard is super duper soft, and the styling was great with this oil. This oil really surprised me. I really, absolutely loved this oil, and it worked tremendously in my beard. I couldn't think of a single thing that I did not like about this oil. Like I said, the uh, medium oil, super soft. I mean, incredibly soft, and the styling was great. Now, the current oil blend with hemp seed and rice bran instead of grape seed and apricot and with castor moved up in the ingredients list in front of what was it, the meadow foam and rose hip. This is also a straight up, straight up medium oil. The feel and beard still super soft, but for me, the styling suffered. Now, and I do want to, I wanted to mention the old blend and how much I loved it. And I had a slight problem with flyaways with the new blend, but that those flyaways are specific to me. I'm one of a small group of people that hemp seed doesn't really quite work for me. I wanted to make sure I talked about the old blend that was incredible because I have a feeling that the new blend with the hemp seed is going to be incredible for everybody except a small group of us that hemp seed just doesn't work for us. I almost kind of dislike reviewing something with hemp seed in it because I know I have to be honest about how it worked for me. But at the same time, it's sort of like me judging a lasagna contest. I cannot stand cheese. And you could give me a world famous lasagna, wonderful, and it's still gonna taste bad to me. For me, when hemp seed is in a blend, I get a small problem with styling, I get flyaways. And that's always easily rectified by putting a little butter in or a bomb if I want to go that far. Uh, so I love these oils. I even love the one with the hemp seed. But I do have to say, if you're like me and hemp gives you a little bit of an issue, then 
you know, be aware. For 98% of the population, you're going to love it. To the sense, the first one today is, if I can do that, I haven't eaten today, so I'm kind of shaky. Classic. Now, classic, the, the scent profile on this is sandalwood and vanilla. For me, this one is pretty simple. It's a sweet sandalwood. I get more of the sandalwood than I do the vanilla as a separate and distinct scent. It seems to me that it just sort of sweetens up the sandalwood. I really enjoy this scent as a nice alternative to a straight up sandalwood. As far as the scent strength, I guess I'm going to say this was medium light. It's not an incredibly light scent, but sandalwood, sandalwood and vanilla by their nature are usually not loud scents. And for the scent duration, I'm going to say about four to five hours. This actually lasts longer than that and is there, but as a discernible scent to anyone else, I wouldn't say it goes farther than the four to five hours. And with the four to five hours, for me, that's a winner. Anytime a scent makes it to four to five hours, I'm completely satisfied. Okay, now the second oil today is Paradise. And I did want to mention, when you first see these bottles, you might not realize that the scent profile is on there but on the very bottom of the back of the bottles in little red lettering they list the scent profiles which i always love to see now paradise is coconut and lemongrass again this one is a simple combination the coconut is definitely out front with this one and i love the combination of the lemongrass in the background augmenting the coconut this is just a nice, pleasant scent, uh, medium scent strength. And again, this one went about four to five hours. And now the third oil today, 1930. Now, 1930 is a vintage barbershop, talcum, amber, rum, and musk. Now with this one, you get exactly as advertised. This is just a really nice vintage barbershop. There's no shortage of talcum in any way, shape, or form, but it doesn't go over the top with the talcum. It's just a very smooth, mellow barbershop. I really love this one. It's a medium scent strength, and this one gave me about six hours of scent duration. Okay, and to summarize, I, I was super impressed by the high quality dropper on this. I love, love, love the grapeseed blend, but unfortunately, it's become a thing now where a lot of companies are shying away from grapeseed because customers are shying away from grapeseed. I do believe most of you that will have the same great experience I had with the old blend because most folks don't have the issue I have with hemp seed oil. So in the end, I highly recommend these oils. As far as scents, I really enjoyed all three. They're not super complex scents. They just smell really good. And with that, I'm out of here. Please hit that like button, subscribe button, and hit the notification bell if you want to see more. And with that, I'm going to take me and my cracking voice out of here.